Today I'm going to demonstrate creating a woven plaid repeating pattern using Illustrator CS5. Now all the techniques I'm going to show you do work in earlier versions of Illustrator. So if you're running an earlier version you can still do all of these techniques. What I've done is started out with a square artboard because my repeating pattern is going to be a square. And what I will start doing is drawing my warp lines. Now my warp lines are the lines that run vertically in a plaid and your weft lines, W-E-F-T, are what run horizontally in your plaid. So let's just just mirror this over here and why don't we distribute these evenly that looks pretty good to start uh, let's put some different colors in there oops not that the same as that there we go now we will copy and paste this in place, control F, just paste it directly on top of the place it was copied from, and we'll rotate it to create our weft lines. Now you could stop there and use that, but what you'll have in a plaid is where you have two colors overlapping, you'll get a color shift. So in order to emulate that, we will go ahead and drop our opacity to about 50% just to show that. So now you can see where your colors overlap, you get a uh, merge of those two colors. What we'll do then is take this plaid and drag and drop it into our swatches menu. Now if we take a shape and fill it with the plaid, you can see we have a nice repeating pattern. Now the reason that that worked and was so nice and seamless was because I have my smart guides on and I had all of my edges snap to the edge of my artboard. So the edge of all my artwork within my pattern is making a perfect square. Now you'll see what might happen if you have some lines going outside. Let's put that in. And so you can see what happens is not really what you want to happen because what it does is it takes this and it uses this as one repeat. So if you pull this over, that's where the edge of the pattern starts lining up. And you can see that repeat. Your vertical repeat hits nicely, which you can see it does here. Uh, however, your horizontal repeat does not. So let's say for whatever reason, your lines were extending past the artboard and you wanted to create a nice seamless repeat with that. So what you would do then is you would create a bounding box and let's just fill that, let's just give that an orange stroke for now so you can see, uh, inside of the edges of the lines. And what you actually want to do is send that to the back and you actually want it to have no stroke and no fill. So when you take everything here, including this invisible bounding box that is on the back, that's very important, it has to be on the back of your pattern, to your swatches palette, so you want to select everything, what it's going to do is it's going to read this bounding box as the edge of your repeating pattern. So you'll see that with that defined as the edge of the repeating pattern, we'll get our fill selected. We are now getting a nice seamless repeat and it's ignoring anything that is outside of the bounding box. So you can create your plaid either by snapping to the edge of your artboard or creating it with lines that extend unevenly and then putting a bounding box around it. Remember it has to have no fill and you must send it to the back of the artwork in order for that technique to work. I hope you now understand how to make some simple plaids in Illustrator using the swatches and repeat tools that they have available to you. And if you have any questions you can email me at learn at Thank you.